Welcome to the next session of the On Device Research Academy. Today I'm joined by Alex Greaves, Programmatic Director at Kinetic. So working with the on-device research out-of-home brand impact study, what are some of the most pertinent or key learnings that you've been able to take from those studies in 2023 so far? So something recently we've done is looking at delivering uh, a brand lift study, but not just with Sightline on pro programmatic out-of-home, actually a, a multi-exposed cross-channel um, on-device research brand lift study, which is you know, really exciting. We've worked with the team and, and Sammy over there and done a lot of work with them. They've been fantastic. And what was really interesting is if you actually look at all of the individual studies you had and then the overarching one, every channel played its part. So you had, whether it's display, audio, programmatic out of home, they all played their part. And actually, if you took away any of them, if you took away display, for example, you may lose awareness. But if you, looked, uh, if you took away programmatic out of home, you may lose consideration. So actually, when we're looking at omnichannel and multi-channel in the future, you really need all of those channels involved because they all play a slightly different part, which brought together some amazing results. The client was absolutely... I'm ecstatic with them and it, looking forward, there's definitely an opportunity for us to go, oh, we found out this or that about this channel. And actually, if we change the planning, if we change the activation, could we start to look at program out phone driving this channel or uh, this uh, awareness or this consideration? So that was definitely one thing that we learned. And, and one thing to, to go back is the creative, like um, the, the amazing part and something that I sometimes really harp on about to clients is you're going to get your awareness, you're going to get your consideration, you're going to get your purchase intent. The creative feedback that you get from the studies is second to none. And a lot of clients actually go, oh, amazing, my awareness went up. But then they go down to the bottom, they go, I never looked at our creative and thought that. And then you've got someone, a real person that has actually written, love the creative, but that but means that next year we go into planning and go, we need to remember that but, or we need to remember these three different things. You know, We need to make the logo bigger, or we need to make this really pop, or we need to make the call to action a bit stronger. So I think when you combine that with the measurement piece, it really gives like a holistic study that they're able to make changes off the back of that inform the next campaign, inform BAU activity, or it's a yearly campaign, inform that next year's campaign to really make the creative pop. Our previous white paper has suggested that programmatic digital out of home have been a fantastic driver of lower funnel metrics. Whilst historically, we'd actually known out of home to be a great driver of awareness. As such, have we seen more clients come into the sector as a result of this shift and do you think that out of home still has the ability to be that great awareness driver? For sure on awareness. Like awareness is a lot, a lot of brands come to us and go, we've got this campaign going live, we're, really, we're in, really interested in driving awareness. That being said, the tech capabilities and the fact that you, you know, the old saying of right time, right place, right creative, that rings so true for programmatic. And what we've actually found is we are really able to shift sort of the, the lower end of the funnel. You know, we know that we can drive awareness with traditional out of home. We know we can drive awareness with programmatic out of home. We have seen campaigns that have really driven consideration for potentially like a new, a new brand coming to market with a new product. We've seen massive shifts in that with, um, with some of the uh, on-device research brand uplift studies. On top of that, when we've been incredibly targeted with our approach, so overlaying an audience first approach with first party data or location data, top 100 stores, for example, we've actually seen purchase intent increase by figures of eight to 12%, which are, are really, really high. Um, we've, I've done a lot of studies with, with ODR. So when we see you know, three or four for purchase intent, that's, that's a really good result. The, the most recent one we had was 8%. And you know, I had to really explain to the client, like, I've never seen this before. Like, this is, this is incredible. But the campaign also, you know, it, it made sense because the campaign was outside the store. The product was in the store. We knew the product was in the store. We knew that there was stock in product in the store. So the whole thing made sense. But the fact that you had real world advertising at scale, um, it, it, really, it really did drive those lower funnel metrics. But at the same time, we still have a lot of clients and we truly believe that awareness is something that we are very good at. But now with programmatic, out of home as an overall landscape has benefited because consideration is now very much an opportunity and so is purchase intent. Do you need to demonstrate better effectiveness and accountability when it comes to your programmatic out of home advertising? If so, then please reach out to us at ondeviceresearch.com.